Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am in London, I'm here for my birthday. We're not breaking any rules, it's a staycation. Um, you know, travel within the UK is allowed. There is travel out with the UK, which I'm not personally, even with things that are on, you know, allowed lists and stuff, I'm not quite at a point where I feel comfortable doing that. So I wanted to go somewhere for my birthday in London felt like a, a sort of nice compromise. Made a mess of the room already. We're staying at the Waldorf. It's a lovely room. I really like the room actually, but it's on the very top floor and it's got these quite quirky windows. So wait till I show you. So it's like if you're familiar with London buildings, such as the one you can see out the window. So we're in it like essentially this building's equivalent of that red bit, I think, or maybe potentially the one underneath it. So we've got these like round windows that are right in the top of the buildings. Um, which I really like, like I actually very much enjoy the aesthetic of them, but they are not the best for letting in light. So if at any point my makeup looks completely ski with, it's because this is not great light for doing makeup in. It's a very cool room. Sorry, my grand's brushing her teeth, so I don't know if you can hear the sink. It's a very cool room and I really like it, but the light is um, questionable. So, down there's wardrobe robes. That's the bathroom in there. TV, twin beds with stuff all over, the dressing table, I brought my little steamer with me, got book. oh I've got books in my bedside table, um, so home stretch I've not started reading yet, but this I started reading on the plane, Claudia Winkleman's book, now I don't watch Strictly, I know I'm like the only person on earth who doesn't, I really don't watch much TV at all. But I really enjoyed her interview that she did with Sally Hughes um, when she was interviewed by Sally for her In the Bathroom series and I just thought she came across really really well and I ended up just picking up um, her book so I'm not very far into it but I'm very much enjoying it so far and then I'm also reading The Witch's Heart by Genevieve Gornicek, not sure if I'm saying that right about a third of the way into this and so far quite enjoying it. It's Norse mythology it's based on but it is fiction so those are my books. And then over in this little magical cupboard we have another one of these very cute windows um, and then that's where the safe and fridge and things are. Our flight this morning was at half past six so yeah I got like an hour and seven minutes sleep last night so if I seem a bit delirious at any point in this video or at any point in the first day of this video um, I don't think I'm going to do a video every single day I think I'll just do like a London vlog um, that is why I feel like if I sit down I'm not going to get back up so we were really lucky we got checked into a room really early so I had a bit of a wash, had a freshen up, got changed and now we are heading out so let's go get up to some fun stuff <music> is getting a little bit of a facelift at the moment but that is where we're heading I'm gonna get my eyebrows done very excited so since we last spoke I have had my eyebrows done washed off all my makeup absolutely pointless in putting any on and now we have come to Santa Maria Novella. We were meant to go to Florence last June and it obviously got cancelled. So I thought we would make the effort to come to the shop while we're here. It's a little tiny shop and there's somebody in, so I think with social distancing, we're as well just waiting outside. How beautiful are the boxes? So I want to smell some perfume, maybe some candles if they've got the candles. I don't know how much like of a range they're going to have because it's such a small shop, but I'm very excited to get in here. 
I am in Fortnum's. Everything is beautiful. I want about a million tea sets. But like, even look at this wrapping paper. How beautiful. I've got my mask on, so I'm so sorry if I sound rather muffled. Oh, and Paddington, my favorite. On top of Winnie the Pooh, who's my other favorite. Oh, look at the stationery. I'm very keen when we go to Harrods to look at a brand called Ferris Wheel Press that do like ink and fountain pens and things and they're stocked in Harrods but I'm such a sucker for stationery in general. I could, uh, I could drop more money than would be advisable quite easily. Look at these candles, they're like messages in a bottle. I feel like my friend Lindsay would just adore these so much. So we're in Burger and Lobster. I have got the beef, beef, bur beast burger that's got the lobster and the, the burger and um, chips. And my gran has just got the normal burger. I am so hungry, so I'm very excited to eat this. We're just walking home through Covent Garden, so the shop isn't open. But this is the first time that I'm seeing the Chanel number no. 5, the 100 year celebration, the factory collection thing in person. I've seen it online. I'm just not that impressed. Like, I get, I get the theory, I get what they're going for, but yeah, I wanted more. I feel a little bit let down, but also like it's probably quite a good thing because it means I don't want to buy it. So I probably shouldn't complain, but yeah, slightly underwhelmed. The last time Lauren and I came, we went into the Royal Opera House, which you can get into there. And they had some of the like costumes and shoes out, but they're doing like the filled loads of the windows. So there's tutus in this one. And then like customized shoes in this window. They're so beautiful. Look at that one, it's like a little mini theatre. Ballet dancer inside it. We've got a swan shoe there. I don't know what you'll be able to see in terms of the reflection. They're so beautiful. Oh, look at the dark feathered one. Oh, oh look at that one. It's got little dresses inside it. And then that one's like almost like a Cinderella shoe. This one with the nails. I love this. So I didn't really show you earlier, um, but our hotel's got some really lovely flowers outside it and it's really pretty now with the lights and things. So it is 20 past nine, but I have walked 21,000 steps, had an hour and a bit of sleep, and I am ready for bed. So I'm gonna call day one of London done. I've got a pink gin. I'll probably be asleep before I even finish it. I've got my first ever creme cookie to try. Very excited. So I'm gonna crawl into bed with these guys and my book, and I will see you in the morning. Good morning. So it is day two in London and we are at Kew Gardens today. We had to book this in advance, but as you can see from the umbrella, there's a bus going by. Um, it is not good weather today. I think this is actually one of the worst days of our weather forecast for the week. And um, yeah, this is the day we booked, but we booked it absolutely ages ago, so there's nothing we could do about it. Please enjoy looking, but not touching. I think I might get that made in a, a t-shirt. So we are in Kew Gardens now. Yeah, more my grand's thing than mine, but 
is quite pretty. Probably won't talk to you too much, probably just a cure montage of some pretty flowers. So I don't know if you'll be able to hear me because I don't, I have my mask on. I was going to say I don't have my mask on, but you would be able to hear me then. Um, but yes, I'm speaking through my mask. So, changes in horticultural practices through time. I'm not going to talk you through the horticultural practice, but like, obviously now health and safety, if you do this kind of job, you know, you're in high vis, etc, etc. And it's also like hard manual labour. And then you look at these men in 1902 and this man in 1924 and it's like basically a three piece suit to water the plants and like be the foreman of, of the greenhouse. Imagine coming to work like doing manual labour in your suit like that. 1862 yeah, When we came here the last time like all of this was open I think it's obviously social distancing and one-way systems and things so um, all the glass houses are open but like not all the areas are available to go through the way they were the last time which is like it's, it's fine obviously safety first um, so I'm not complaining but it is just a little disappointing but yeah it's still a really nice sort of day out if you're into your garden or even if you're not I feel like this would be a lovely place to come if you had somebody who was capable of taking nice pictures, which my gran is not. I will have seven chins in every picture my gran takes of me, but I feel like this would be a useful place to come take pictures. There are just so many sort of areas set around like the whole garden. You know, you could bring a couple of outfit changes and really get some good Instagram content if that was your, your priority. But even if it's not your priority, the actual gardens themselves are lovely and the buildings are beautiful and I really like coming like it sounds a bit strange but I love looking at like old trees I do this in parks as well it's not just like big glass houses like this but I just love with all these sort of old things but living old things in terms of like the plants and the trees just how many things have they seen, how many changes in fashion, even like I was saying back in the other room through there about the way that men used to dress to come to work to tend the plants versus how people dress now, not just to come to work to tend the plants but just in general, like just how many eras of human time will so many of these things see that we won't see and a bit of a tangent but I do enjoy that kind of stuff. I'm sure somebody's already done it, but like, how amazing would it be to shoot some kind of like mad couture ball gown in amongst like this passageway with there's like sculpture down there if you can see it, and you know the greenery and the arches and the old the old glass and oh, I think it would be beautiful.
I haven't really spoken too much. Since Kew Gardens, we went to Harry's um, and just had a quick kind of whip around. I uh, went to see the Ferris School Fresh products. I think I spoke to you about that in Portland. Um, and they were beautiful, but they didn't have, I want the pen in green, and they had basically every colour except green. And I don't really see the point in buying the inks until I have the pen. And they didn't have the inks that I would have chosen either, but it was still so nice to see the products in person. Anyway, we are now, we are, the tiredness has hit, so we've just come to Frank and Mine because it's right by the hotel. The time I have ordered a little mozzarella, number two, and I'm excited for my food. Look how cute he is, his little feet don't even touch the ground. Oh, I love him. I love him so much. He is my favourite of all Londoners and all the immigrants. Because never forget, it's a story about immigrants and how we should welcome them. So it is a little bit later on and we went to Elan for food. I don't think I even showed you anything, I'm so sorry. I will insert pictures. I had the Nutella French toast and a red velvet latte and it was lovely. But now we have come to uh, St Dunstan in the east. We're going to Sky Garden, so this is like basically right next to it. So it's like an old church ruins that have become sort of. Well, I don't. They don't look like they're naturally overgrown. I think they've been, you know, planted up, but planted up in a way that looks like nature has kind of taken over. They're really, really beautiful. It would be lovely to come here with like a proper camera. You know, take some pictures. You can see that's all like planted so that it's going kind of through the the arches. I don't know if you can see or not, it's so bright I can't even see my screen. So I have no idea what I'm actually showing you at the moment. It's really quite magical. a lot of people who like obviously just come and have their lunch here if they work it out here. I'm doing that thing where I'm like trying to vlog it but not get people who don't want to be 
in it, in it. I love this tree, like right by the entrance so that it's coming kind of through the window. Well, there's a few entrances, but right by the entrance that we came in, which was that gate over there. I am outside at Sky Garden now. So if you can see kind of there, that's Tower of London. And then you've got Tower Bridge. You've got the Shard. And you go along the Thames. I say it's, it's like it's outside, obviously this is behind the glass for safety reasons, but yeah it's like it's open there. Um, not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little bit ill because I don't really care for heights, but the view is, um, the view is worth it. Except now that I've seen the view, I'm gonna go back inside. <laughs> I'm alright like inside. I'd even look out the window but I feel like when I get kind of close to the edge and I can see down that's when I start being a bit like ooh and the world starts tilting and my head goes a little bit and it's uh, not not particularly fun. I think that's um I think it's called Hayes Galleria or something like that down there. It looks really really pretty. I think it's just loads of food places. Um a friend of mine had Instagrammed it around Christmas. And it had been on my plan for Lauren and Lindsay and I to visit when we came next month, but we've cancelled that trip. So, but I think it's just food places. I don't think there's any shops or anything. Well, there might be a couple of shops, but I think it's kind of out of the way to go just to go if you're not even hungry. Which, after my Elan French toast, I am certainly not hungry. So I'm not sure if I've actually shown you um, Piccadilly Circus on this vlog or not. It's so bright, I can't see what my screen is showing you, but this is it. I'm just down there, if you can see. Don't know if you can, because I think the fan's going right through it. But like, there we go, I can see now. That theatre there is six, that's where I was on Sunday night. And we are going down this way, we're going back to Fortnum and Mason because it's nearly time to leave and you must stock up on sweets before you go, obviously. Mm -hmm. 